Welcome to this video about getting started with Pando. During this video, you will learn how to set up an account on Pando, input your relationships, and edit your organization's profile. First, check your inbox for an email from info at mypando.org. You will receive an email invitation to join a network map on Pando. If you have not received an email invitation, please email your MAPS administrator or info at mypando.org. Click the button to set up your account on Pando. You will be redirected to Pando where you can create your password for your account and click Submit. Next, you will be asked to re-enter your email address and new password. Then click Login. After you log in to Pando, you will be automatically redirected to your Relationship Manager. At the top of the page, you can read a brief description of the relationship mapping effort under the map name to understand the purpose of this network map and how the information will be used. Next, get familiar with the collaboration areas. Collaboration areas are used to describe the ways that organizations or individuals work together within this network. In this example, we are interested in the policy issues and advocacy efforts that actors are working together to address, such as open budgeting for government and representation of women in agriculture. You can learn more about the collaboration areas by clicking on this Learn More link. Now it's time to begin entering the names of organizations. As you type, the names of organizations that have been identified by other MAP participants will appear. When applicable, select the organization's name from the drop-down menu. This will prevent duplicate organizations from being entered into the network map. Indicate how you work with each organization by selecting a collaboration area from the drop-down menu. Next, indicate how frequently you work with each organization by selecting often, sometimes, or rarely from the frequency drop-down menu. Select no longer active to remove a relationship from the network map. Finally, invite your contacts to join this relationship mapping effort by providing an email address for the organization. Your contacts will receive the same email invitation that you received to join Pando and this network mapping effort. Use the Add Another Row button to add additional relationships. Once you have finished entering relationship data, click Submit. A pop-up notification will appear to notify you that any new relationships added to the Relationship Manager will appear on the network map. Any new contacts that you've added will be sent an email invitation to join Pando. Click OK to confirm. You may return to the Relationship Manager at any time to update your relationships. Your organization and the relationships you list will be automatically visualized on the network map. Before exploring the map, take a few minutes to set up your organization's profile. Other organizations participating in the map will be able to see your organization details when they click on your organization's node in the map. Click on Organization Profile at the top of the page. Enter your organization's name as you would like it to appear on the network map. Enter a brief description of your organization, which may include your organization's mission or activity. Input the complete URL for your organization, including http colon forward slash forward slash. Next, select the locations where your organization works. You can select more than one location by holding down the control key on your PC or command key on a Mac. Provide the URL for your organization's logo. You can usually access the URL for your logo by right-clicking on the logo on your organization's website and selecting Open Image in a New Tab. If you don't have a URL, that's okay. You can leave this blank. Select Type of Organization that best represents your organization using the drop-down menu. And finally, select the appropriate areas of expertise for your organization. Again, you can select more than one area of expertise by holding down the control key on a PC or command key on a Mac. Next, click this box to indicate that you would like to share your contact information with other Mac participants. Enter the primary contact information for your organization. You may choose a primary contact other than yourself. Remember, Mac participants may use this information to reach out to you to learn more about your work. 
Now that you've completed your profile, click Save Profile and return to the network map to begin exploring your network of organizations.